Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Right and Down and Dice, a sort of minimalist dice-based roguelike that I'm very excited to be checking out again here today. I played the demo for it like four months ago, and I really liked it. I thought it was a neat take on a more puzzly style of roguelike. So in, we're going to go to check it out now that it's out on Steam. Elemental Dungeon or uh, what looks like maybe a daily. So we got this one option for now. Got six different characters. We got the uh, choice of, it looks like, three different abilities and three different possibly, like, passives. So we got the six characters and all those options. That's pretty cool already. Roll a fire die at the start of every battle. Upgrade your fire dice. I do remember, like, this. From what I remember, this sounds like it'd be a good thing. Let's let's do that. We'll keep one basic thing and one different thing. We'll We'll try that out. And it looked like there was maybe some difficulty levels. We're on the first one. Possibly have to beat it to unlock the next. So, I know there was a tutorial, but I remember the game pretty well, even though it was four months ago, because like I said, it's an easy to understand game. It is more on the minimal side, but that doesn't mean it's not strategically deep in the sense of what you have to think about. Well, what do I want to do? So we have our dice pool down here. Looks like, yeah, we have two red dice and a black die. That is relevant because these are our enemies and in order to defeat them, we just need to place dice on them. So these ones are, this one's quite simple. We need to put a die that's three or higher, die that's three or higher, a die that's four or higher. This one, we need to put a green or a purple one over there. But the big thing is we roll our dice. We have some abilities that can manipulate our dice. And on top of that, we have obviously our passives that change things up. And we got to think, well, what order do we want to take these enemies out in? Because they have different abilities. Inflicts three damage on the enemy's turn if he is still alive. And he will reduce the value of all dice from your dice pool by one point whenever you place a die on this enemy. Interesting. And you do what? Increase the attack value of this by two points when another enemy dies. So we definitely want you dead first, but I don't have a way to do this yet. So how do I do that? Roll three random dice. Probably going to be the call. All right. I think let's pop... I mean, we pop this in here. Because I can, I can put a couple things over here, too. It doesn't have to be just... A nothing. We put the... Boom, bang, boom. Because so we can leave them here for next turn. I guess I put in the five. Put in the five. All right. So he's going to be doing three damage to me. We do have some armor. Good to see. Because it is kind of like... It's one of those games where you have to be comfortable with the fact that you're going to be taking a lot of damage. But it's kind of in a traditional roguelike sense where you use that health to get you to the next level. Where you will probably get a full health heal, I think I remember. Kill this man. Bye-bye. But it's that simple. It's that simple. We're going to get different effects, different equipment, different spells that shake things up quite a bit. But, you know, also relatively simple. You understand the whole game already. And we're three minutes in, and I skipped the tutorial. So we have the battle over that way. Or we could fight three monsters, get an extra gold coin. I think I'd rather just... Hmm. Because I don't want to go to the shop. Okay, I did forget one rule. The game is called Right and Down and Dice. Do you want to take a guess what two directions you are allowed to move? Correct. Down and Dice. So, yeah, we can move right or down. There was another game before this. This is kind of like a sequel that adds the sort of dice fighting mechanic. The other game was kind of a card crawler almost. Uh, but, yeah, it's shaken up. So what do you got? Removes two of its place dice when another enemy dies. You just do four damage. I think we, uh, I think we take out this man. Needs to be a red die here. So put the lower value red die. Three, four. We remove dice from him, but it also just does not matter. And I'll take the, uh, the more difficult ones out of the way. I gotta take that three. So here's the tricky thing. We do need to rely on a little bit of 
heavy RNG right there. If I don't get a green or a purple, then yikes. But we could probably look for some kind of equipment or ability that could help guarantee that. For now, I just want to push my luck, keep on getting money. Increase its attack value by two when another enemy dies. Okay, so we probably want to go for the one on the right. Put in the one purple. Easy enough. Get the diff more difficult ones out of the way. We know for a fact we are going to roll a red die. It's just what we do. All right. Simple enough. It is going to get more tricky than, <laughs> than that. So, okay. We don't get the full heal then. Campsite. There we go. That That's when we would get the, uh, the heal. I don't remember if it's a full heal or what. I kind of like the idea of battle undead shrine. Buy blessings using gold coins. Tougher battle campsite where we will probably heal up. Okay, so you die first. That's the that's the goal, but we might have to change that plan if we don't get we did get a purple. E, but we also did roll pretty meh. Okay, and buff this one up and prop probably yeah, slap it in there. The fire belt, I kinda like it, because here's the thing. You may think it's it's not as good. It's not as good in like a boss fight, probably. If there's a long fight. But it does a really good job of, uh, like, making it so we take less guaranteed damage. Because we have a whole extra die to work with. So, turn one is a lot stronger. Twelve gold. Oh, we're one off of buying a permanent extra darkness die. Get a random wasteland artifact. Blessing. Roll a darkness die. Five charges to that. What do we got? Recover three health points at the start of every artifact merchant encounter. I'll grab the ability to uh, to roll some extra dice. Maybe get us through this encounter a little bit smoother. Maybe we get to save it. We'll see. All right, let's figure out an order. Invokes a new enemy. When it dies, what does invoke a new enemy it means? On death, it's going to summon a new one, or it's going to... What? Okay, this guy goes first, if we get the right tool. Okay, good. Otherwise, that was going to be a little bit... A little bit gross. Invokes a new enemy when it dies, so I feel like we want to go for you. I mean, I guess fine. We'll, we'll go for our guaranteed red. We could try and roll a darkness die and see if we get lucky. We did. Ooh, we did not. There's not like a strong reason to do it. We would take four less damage. And the thing is, if we didn't roll it, we're, you know, we're in that situation where we don't have anything to do with it. All right, we have the bump, the upgrade the die by three points. We can do that. Should be good to go, except we'll, fi we'll figure out, I guess, what the invoke does indeed do. Right here, right here. Yeah, it's it's what I thought. It's, it's actually... It's the thing I hoped wasn't true, but is true. The good news is he's very easy. He ramps up over time. He's very easy if you save him for last. He's one damage and then he's gone, but he does take your entire turn. So if he's there earlier, then yikes. Good. 
gain eight health points, four armor points, three gold coins. Here's the question. Why would you ever take four armor points over? I mean, if you're at full health, I guess, but... I mean, there's probably some items that would make that stronger, but... If you're missing more than four, you would never take it. Like, we would take the six heal. Let's get stupid with it, though. Let's get the gold coins, see if we can push it. Choose a new skill. A. Two red fives or higher, five sixes, gain five health points. Roll one holy die. It can be used as any other color. It does take two. I'll get the combustion cure. Like, a method of regenerating seems like a good thing to have. So if we move here, then we have to fight the uh, the triple battle. But we could go... I like fight, fight, shop. I like that a lot, actually. So what's in the shop that's different then, huh? Destroys a random dice from your pool when you use a skill. Okay. Good thing I do not need to, then. I mean, it would have... I'm not going to lie, it would be beneficial to us. Does he increase his own value? He sure does, doesn't he? Alright. So he does three. It does make some sense to stall out a turn then. If we gain value by him uh, not killing us, you know? So we can maybe even heal up again after this. We can. Get wrecked. Yeah, this is going to be very strong. If we can save, like, tactically save some enemies... I guess if I knew what these monsters were, this would be a choice that would matter more. But I just don't. Because, yeah, the one on the picture is guaranteed to be there. Inflicts you two damage points whenever you use a skill. All right. Mm. I mean, let's let's get ourselves into the safer spot. We'll take the hit. Unfortunate. But this is the same thing in the in the sense that we might as well get ourselves hit. Cause we'll be able to heal up one away. Yeah, I like I like this setup. I'll be down one HP, that's fine. Not bad. Stall god. Uh, fire sword, roll a fire die at the start of every battle. Uh, get one armor point after killing an enemy. If the last die you used was a fire die, recover five HP when you buy an artifact. Oh, we healed up when we entered here too. Add an extra fire die to the dice pool for the next turn. At the end of the turn, for every remaining die in your dice pool at the end of it, that actually kind of helps us possibly with combustion core. I'm going to buy this one, though. This only costs four. So we can buy that and something else. All right. Do we have a limited amount of artifact slots, though? It kind of looks like we might. Yikes, if true. Not going to have a lot of money when we get there. I think we just go two fight, two fight, two fight. Especially since we get the extras right away.
burns removes the color of one random die at the start of your turn. I mean... I mean, we could, like... We could go a little wild here, I suppose. You know what? Let's just, uh... Let's fish on a red... Because I don't need to... Okay, <laughs> I was going to say, I don't... Why, why wouldn't I kill? I'm at full health. Now that's getting greedy. But you know what the funny thing is? It doesn't even freaking matter. Because I'm, uh, I'm a tank lord. You should not have given me this heal, man. It's going to bite me in the butt eventually. It's going to become a problem. But it is not one right now. You are a stinker. Whenever you use a skill, huh? Okay. Do not care about the color. Oh, it tried to burn the dye, but it's gone. I feel like we should be using Wildfire Gambit first no matter what, and I'm aware of that. But it's also a little bit tricky when I do really care about the red, you know? See, like, there we kind of got a little bit screwed over by it. I can kill you. But I also shouldn't. You know what I'm saying? Unless it's a little bit gambly. I'm just going to kill. It's a little bit gambly because we could bump something up. We could knock it a six. We have to bump it up. We don't get... Uh, or our red gets targeted. It could be bad. Just trust. We need a higher than a five. Stop burning my dice. You can have them, though. Hold that L. I feel like I've gotten super freaking strong. Oof. Uh, okay, really? Throw that, that. We could take the three. We might as well take the three, right? And then heal up for five. There's a, t there's a turn in which this is no longer logical, you know. And that's after he ramps up. But for now, we can handle it. I'm kind of using the fire boots as just like a... Well, I suppose I might as well get 12 health points. Six armor points. Okay, so the later in the run it gets, the better that is. Choose a new die. I, oh, if we want reliability, we take something else. But another fire die is obviously useful. When we have Wildfire Gambit. Go big? Go big and regret it. <laughs> How about that? All right, if we go here, we heal back up. So I think we go bang, bang, bang. Yeah, let's do it. I might use this in this fight, the uh, the roll of darkness die, especially because this looks brutal. Your counter is... Wait, the counter is reduced at the start of your turn. When it reaches zero, the enemy self-destructs, inflicting you with eight points of damage. Huh. So he doesn't do anything else. That's a very annoying thing, because it's a lot of dice slots, but... Freezes one of your skills when you place a die on this enemy. Freezes one of your skills at the start of the turn. Can I, like... I wonder... We want to bump. Probably you'd be the most likely. 
four. Four. I think we can probably, like, just get you the hell out of here. Okay, I was wondering if we could, like, store it. <coughs> oh, boy. And basically use it later. This is a... This is a problem, obviously. I mean, it's not like a big one, actually. We, we could have been fine. But if we can just style on you that hard, I feel like we just do it, right? And we'll heal up next turn on this guy. As long as he doesn't... Yeah. That is the issue, is he can absolutely mess up my ability to heal myself. So we don't want to stall against this guy. It's a 1 in 3 chance that we can't heal on our turn. Well, it's higher than that, because we could also just not get the supplies. But here we know that we, uh, we heal up when we enter the shop. For 3. Its attack ignores your armor points. It's an attack of four, eh? There's a lot of resources on him, but it also makes sense. What do I do with this one? Nothing. Okay, I figured we would roll a four at least. Okay. Five. Slap it. We don't even need the freaking heal, man. Should use the red last. I'm aware. I'm aware. So I don't even need the heal, so I guess I could go here now. This is these are blessings? I guess I don't really care about those that much. Get three armor points after buying an artifact. Roll an ice die after killing an enemy if the last dice you use was an ice die. Get an armor point for every six dice you use. Seems really good. Ice die the next turn after killing an enemy. Roll an ice dice after killing an enemy if the last one you used was nice die um I could get this and then the next time I can add a die to my pool I could grab an ice dice maybe my fear is just that there is a potentially a limited amount of slots so I'll say no that one's not bad at all it's just that like I don't have a reliable ice dice, baby. Uh, we have the the cauldron. I think we push it here. Destroys all dice with the value of five from your dice pool when you place a dice on this enemy. Okay, so probably use the fives. Mm. Oh, you jerk. You got me good. All right. A little bit goofy. Not great to get that guy first. So we don't have any fives. Pretty good time to, to take this guy out. But also... This one is worse to heal. To heal through, that is. Okay. Kill him with a red. Can't bump...
Okay, so we do we do get the extra. We don't have anything to do with these ones, which is a little bit of a, an annoyance, but a well. All right. Armor protected a little bit here. But yeah, this guy is a lot easier to heal through. We have no fives. Oh, do I not get the armor if I... Wait. I mean, we're kind of blitzing, though. This does not feel like a heal-through-it fight. If anything, it would be you. You know, I'm probably going to want to use my red, so. This gives us the opportunity if we roll a the blue. Okay. We could heal up, but I also don't need to heal up. Just kill him with the red and we're good to go. Okay, no, we do get it. We just get it so, like, so fast. We get it immediately. My question, is there a way to get rid of the, uh... There's not a way to get rid of the door transition, which I will say takes up a majority of the, the pacing mentally, but I, in actuality, probably not that much really, right? Okay, we saved that guy for last for sure. Mm. Just need to be above a three. Don't, don't love that. I might actually take this eight. Oof. Six. Three. Three, four, bump something. Gotta put in the red last, but oh well. Alright, but then we can fully heal off this guy if... He was even doing damage to me in the first place. So just finish him off with a red. All right. We've kind of got a build going. It's pretty functional. I definitely don't need to heal. And I think I'm good on the armor points too. Kill a random enemy. Roll two fire dice of value one. That's fantastic for Wildfire Gambit. Get a coin is obvious. It's obviously good. I'm playing stall focused already. Dude, I have 18 bucks. Let's do it. So I don't really want to have to stall for <laughs> the fighting as well. Max health is increased by one point after buying an artifact. Five point potion bonus at the campsite. Okay. So, yes, each zone seems like it has its own unique kind of things to it there. Okay. What do we have here? Inflicts two damage. Inflicts you four damage points when another enemy dies. We need two numbers above four that are equal. Oh, how dare you? Who froze me? And then you do six. Okay, we're in hell. Two things that are above four that are... Uh. Four damage points when another enemy dies. Well, the thing is, I'm going to be taking four damage points when you die anyways. If, if I don't kill you, I take four damage points anyway, so it kind of just makes sense. Rolled pretty... I mean, I could try... I... 
The last three uses of this have been stupid. They just been a bad idea. I might as well get this guy out of the way instead of partially working on this guy. I'll put in a six because it's pretty easy to get a six because we can bump. Hmm. Man, pretty, uh, pretty particular this is here. Incoming yikes. Nothing to do with any of this garbons. Ow. Large ow. Okay, the good news is I can go... Whoop, and we have just kind of a crazy amount of dice. Alright, so I think we go... We put in the... Fours. We can put here. Let's put in the six. We kind of want you to die first. Can we kill you and you on the same turn? So we have we have to put in the fours. It does not make sense to stay and heal. Is the only issue here. You devils. You devils, you got me. I cannot stall against you. I knew this day would come. Okay, this is the first fight, or uh, first zone, so we don't get the extra heal thing. Yeah, my swamp. It can't keep happening to me. I mean, it certainly can and it certainly will, but theoretically it can't. Don't freeze my heal. Okay, it can keep happening to me. It absolutely can. The fives. I mean, we have a kill if we so desire, and we can do that and get our shield up at the very least. I'm in a better spot now than I was at the start of the fight. We'll take it. But it is now getting tougher to stall. This heals me. I mean, I'm healed up anyways, because we started, yeah. Nature die for every holy die. Get an armor point after killing an enemy. Roll a nature die for every three dice of the value four that you use. Add an extra nature die to your dice pool after killing an enemy. I do like the idea of this sort of, like, chain reaction meme dream we've created. I am, like I said, afraid of what happens here. Speaking of afraid, who the hell are you? Get that one. Inflicts poison to five dice from your dice pool. Poison dice deal damage to you equal to the value when used. What? How's that allowed? When it dies. Killing you makes sense. Because if I kill you, I take four damage. If I don't kill you, I take six. So it just makes sense. Finish with a five of red. That helps. I can't take you down. But I can bump. Red six is easy. I'm I'm shoehorning myself a little bit there. God, I wish I had more to do with my red ones, but whatever. Okay, perfect. 
put in the, the red six. And we also have a red five, so we get the extra shield. Good. Like it. Love it. Gotta have it. One, four, four. Okay, perfect. We're back on top, baby. Back on freaking top, baby! So it does it to the, the dice in the pool when it dies, so if you... Okay, it's not actually that bad. And I'm at full health plus three shield, we take the tougher fight. I actually think he's very clever. Like, I think he's very clever now. He's very annoying. I have an, an, speaking of annoying, very low amount of, you know what? Finally. Okay. So we can go four, four. We bump something low. Five, five. Love it. Wait, why did that look like I got poison? Feeling good though. Take a little bit of damage, not a big deal. Kill you last, I think. Finish him off with a red. I mean, okay, this has to just be a three plus. I think we just slap the fives. Eh. Like, I could risk it, but I don't feel like it right now. I don't think it's a good call. Alright. Just boom. Give me the uh, enough to heal. What am I doing? Really? Heal, kill. Should have killed him with the uh, the red four, but whatever. One armor, we should be okay. But yeah, we are on a a positive like win loop here, where oh boy, yeah, okay, I think we take the uh, dice, dice. I think we gotta. Ooh, we got four fights now. But yeah, considering we have the uh, ice ability up here, that's so good. What have you done? Okay, you poison a die. Two points of damage whenever you use a skill. Inflicts you a point of damage for each dice remaining in your pool whenever you use a the skill. These guys kind of... They kind of hard counter me a little bit here. So ideally... I don't use any skills, and then we take down this guy after? He's not that scary initially. Holy. I mean, we obviously, like can do it. But the question is... Do we gain anything from healing? No, not really. Because he, he counters our, our deal pretty well. So I think we just accept this. Technically like a net neutral, and then at the start of his own we would heal anyways. One extra coin for a whole extra guy. One extra coin for one whole extra man. This guy explodes pretty soon. You just do six. You do the poison. It's all pretty spooky. Okay, so the only four is that. Don't need to, don't have any other twos. What am I doing? 
Just decided I'm going for you first. Why? This man's pretty spooky. We don't have three things that are the same, but we could. But we can't. Okay, we can't. We can't go for you. One, two, three, four, five, six. We could definitely kill you. And it's sort of a nightmare scenario if we don't. Eight damage is a lot harder to come back from. Shouldn't matter too much. And yeah, I don't think we need to pop that in. I mean, this is going to hurt. But what are you going to do? Poison that. Okay, you you go. You stay, I go, no follow. We have two fives, and I don't have a two, so I can't... All right, so here's what I'm going to do. Yo, what the hell, man? No twos and no other fives. We have a lot of threes now, though. That's all that matters. Finish him off with that. Do we have any fours? We can have a four really easily. Um, no point in waiting to, to kill him with a red. Does not benefit us, really. 21 bucks. We could we could buy everything, right? Yeah, the prices are going up. You're immune to getting your dice burnt, losing their color. Recover a health point at the start of every turn. Upgrade all your fire dice to a six after killing an enemy. Could be really good. Oh, no. Oh, oh, I don't like that. We don't have the ability to replace them afterwards? I use money for them. I guess I use money for the uh, bees. I do not like the fact that you can't buy and replace them. I do not like that one bit. But it does mean we obviously go for this thing. Unless I want to get the, uh, the three health heal just for going to the other thing. burn whenever we use any skill. <gasps> okay. Get the reliable thing in there. We don't have anything above the fives. Oh boy. That's a no-brainer. Why wouldn't we? We're already, like, part committed here. So we have the five. We'll just go for that. We will bump the two most technical value upgraded there. All right. We should be more than fine to explode this guy next turn. I've been had. Alright, the question is, can we kill this turn? I think both of them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, of course we can. Finish them off both with reds. Uh, get body. So now we can buy a lot of consumables. Or 
roll four fire dice, receive four charges. I mean, it's pretty cool. All your dice to a six. Sounds good. Ten armor points. I mean, feel like for a yikes moment. Oh, it's immediate. Okay, it was not a consumable. I, I guess that makes sense. It didn't say how many charges. I assumed it was one charge, but I assumed it was one whenever we wanted. Inflicts you with damage when you place a die on this enemy equal to the value of that die. Not bad. The dragon does five, so we kind of like... We do want to just... Kill it. I mean, we've got a really nasty wombo going. We don't even need the heal. We're up to the 17. Man's about to blow up. Also, for every dice you, six dice you use, I guess that might count this, too. It probably does, I suppose. Now I almost feel like seven armor points I, is a... I guess it's a late game thing? We could get the four and we could hope for some kind of upgrade up there. Adds three extra fire dice for your pool for the next turn. Five of anything, add three extra random dice to your pool next turn. Um, so it has to be a five red plus. Sure. Okay, so we go here. We'll fight the three first, so, since we don't have, like, since we're kind of capped here, we don't have as much to gain. Yeesh. Reduce the value of all place, all of its place dice at the start of your turn. Freezes one of your skills at the start of your turn. They all suck. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot, man. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Shouldn't have used that one. Well, I mean, I couldn't kill this guy anyways. Who's more annoying? You could stop me from getting a heal. You could you could kind of do that too. They're they're both annoying. All right, threes across the board. One, two, three, four, five. We're good. It is nice that we don't feel like we uh, got to stall. Because the heals become a lot less valuable now that I have all this armor, you know? Which makes sense. Rip. An armor point for every enemy. Roll an ice dice, baby. I feel like the ability to just roll one extra die in some of the scarier fights is very helpful. Inflicts you with five points of damage. But if we place it and die on this, burn a random pool. Yeesh. So yeah, this definitely these definitely count as using it, which is really good. <laughs> I think 
we gotta take this man out. No, we gotta take out Blow Up Boy, but we have such bad... Oh! Which means we gotta take out Dragon Boy? Can I take out Dragon Boy? If I do this, I sure as hell can. Um... You do five, though? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five... One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. We don't have quite enough. But we do now. Just make sure I do that. Okay. And make sure that... Oh, wait. <laughs> I was going to say make sure we got the red left. Oh, well. We lose out on one armor. Say it ain't so. I'm really banking on this still being able to be got. But with this many dice, I think we'll be fine. I should... I, I guess I, I need to be bumping things for no reason. You know, I mean, there is a reason. But I need to just bump a random thing, you know? It's very helpful for, like, slowly getting extra... Extras through that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we should we should be able to do this, right? How many? We have one, two. I mean, let's start filling up this one with the lowest ones here. We're going to want to leave the red for last. Yeah, we actually can't do it. Sure. Forward my shield, it's fine. Poor sap. Yeah, the upgrade to everything to a 6 is kind of giga strong. Legendary treasure victory. I'll fight the level 4. So there's like not a... Interesting. Is there not a final boss or is this kind of the equivalent of a final boss? The Numb Guardian. Increase the attack value of all enemies by a point whenever you use a skill. Ho! So you just get the hell out of here. And then we can start to manipulate stuff afterwards. One, two, three, four, five. I can't get you, though, because I don't have a, a, a black or a purple. Which means I might as well start to just work on that. What do I do with this? I guess we bump it. So we do obviously need this guy dead. We can't take that eight damage. It should be a little bit spooky. Stop it. Stop it. The fact that we can still get this many freaking dice, though. A three, finish it with a, a red four. All right, the hell do we have? We have three fives. Six, one, one. This is out of curiosity right here. I got to know. Does that do anything? When it goes below one, does it get kicked out? It does. Wait, but the... Oh, it, re it reduces it all by two. Gotcha. That makes... Okay. That makes sense. 
So it it does not get kicked out, but if it goes below zero, it gets deleted. Understood. Let's definitely get a couple more consumables to blow up this son of a so-and-so. God, you really gotta you gotta come here with 14. That's the big thing. Ignore all damage this turn. 15 armor points. Are you ever taking more than 15 damage in a turn anyways? I feel like we're just good to go. My fear is that... It, it says ultimate victory. My fear is that there is a boss fight. But we, we're finishing this off with just a, uh, a three fight. I feel like bare minimum, the one right above it and right to the left of it, need to be like a, um, a guaranteed four enemy fight. Bare minimum, right? Or are these guys, guys kind of... No. Nah. Nobody here is uh, particularly wild. In fact, I could probably just... Probably just win, right? One, two, three, four, five, six... 79. One... Two, three, four. I'm one shy. All right. Shouldn't matter. Kill him with the red at the end, though. Just do it. Just do a certain dominance. You are going to be kind of annoying here. In a sense, it's like, why would I care if I took this damage? But also, I don't need to take this damage. And I can just assert the, the, the dominance right here, I suppose. Uh, get absolutely pooped upon? I'm ready for a slap across the face saying, no, now you got to fight a boss. Oh, new dungeon unlocked. Blazing opposition. Enemies increasing in strength. And they also have an extra fire slot. Oh, God. Every enemy has an extra fire slot? That seems... I mean, that run that I just did definitely felt on the easier side. But that, um... That sounds... That sounds like a colossal upgrade. Uh, we also unlocked the Necromancer. Yeah, who similarly has three completely different things. What is your unique guaranteed? Roll two random dice. The power of the skill is increased with every enemy killed and restarts to two when used. It's pretty cool. Uh, roll a holy die. Oh god, what was your starting one? Not. I don't even know if this... I think it might have been. Holy die, receive a damage point. Holy dice can be used as any other color. Upgrade the dice value to six and receive a damage. Removes the color requirement from the slot of a random enemy. Recover two HP for every three enemies you kill. Max HP is increased by one point. You recover three points at the start of every campsite. Interesting. Add one extra darkness dice to your dice pool the next turn when an enemy attacks you. Wait, what? Do we, does it have to do damage to me? Interesting. And also, yeah, this is the thing as well. They each have their own unique dungeon types, which actually makes sense, especially looking at this one, right? Blazing Opposition. That that checks out. But, hey, alas, alas, that's that. That's going to do it for today for Right and Dice and Down. It's a neat game here. Let me tab out and take a look. Uh... Yeah, it's out. It's on sale. 15% off. Uh, it is currently 10 bucks. I think it's just, yeah, it's a night, nice, like, more minimal take. Like I said, a puzzly style, uh, roguelike. I really enjoy it. Last, last, though. That is that. It's good doing it for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for Roguelikes more every single day, and I will see you next time. Bye.